Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Thursday, May the 9th, and it's 7.41 p.m. And I would like to share with you uh, a guy, his channel, that one of our sisters in Christ had sent me an email to share him with me. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm spitting at the computer. Um... And I had been watching his videos one after another, and I, this guy is really good, and I think that it would really bless a lot of you that are having financial difficulties right now, and find out how this millionaire, or at least he was on his way to being a millionaire, um got taken by his wife who divorced him and other things. He can tell you about that. Well, I've watched so many of his videos. I'm not sure if this one that I'm going to put in the description box is the one, that, you know, tells all the stuff. But I want you to listen to him for just a minute. I want to give you a little sample. His name is Michael Criswell. Funny, I hadn't seen this guy. Of course... Who knows how many channels are on YouTube, you know, ones we haven't ever heard of yet. But he is really blessing me with uh, learning to wait on God. Even if it's not about money, there might be something else. It could be waiting on the rapture. You know how we have to wait on him for that. We certainly can't do anything to rush that along. So anyway, let me let you hear a little bit of this guy. Michael Criswell, our brother, turns out he lives right here in Birmingham. Okay, well, let me push play and let you hear. Paul is the greatest Christian that's ever lived. He made more impact and had more power in his life than any Christian that's ever lived. He also had more suffering, more affliction, more hardship. I mean, when you go read 2 Corinthians chapter 11, you just go, my goodness, I would never. See, if he was your only example of Christianity, would you not shrink back in fear? But see, what Paul would tell you is, listen, don't worry about that. In fact, he did have to tell the church, please do not be discouraged on account of my suffering. This has happened for your good. Paul suffered so much that his suffering became discouraging to the church. Because they're thinking to themselves, wow, I just, I mean, what kind of a God is this? that would allow something like this to happen to this guy. And if this is happening to this guy, is this going to happen to me? You know how many people have watched my story and have said, man, I'm not interested in Christianity like that. Don't be one of those. Amen. Hello there. It's Michael. I wanted to share a few okay. updates with you on what's going on with me kind of behind the scene. Okay. Well, anyway, that was the start of this video. The way he does his videos uh, sometimes there'll be a combination of clips from previous recordings and like this one had that introduction and then he's going to talk about updates on himself and uh, different things and um, it's, it's just very interesting and how he he's gone from that rich life to being so poor that he actually had to sleep in an office for four months. And then he had to move in with his parents and other things. I mean, I, like I said, I watched like, I think, four videos now. So I've just been really engrossed in his story because I kind of feel like him. You know, like when you're a registered nurse and you're married to a guy making good money, we, maybe we weren't rich. But compared to many, we were, you know, not compared to the elite, certainly. We didn't have a, a, a mansion, but to me, it was like my dream home, you know. It was a large 2,600 square foot, multi-level, split-level, brick, beautiful backyard. It was like a park. I mean, it was gorgeous to me and I had the pleasure of re um, doing the wallpaper in the 
little eating area plus the dining room and we got to put down new carpet and then right after that we sold it because we found out he was being laid off and didn't think that my nursing salary would be enough for us to live there and I cried when we drove away see I was into worldly stuff way too much even though I love Jesus and but I loved my life. I loved my kids. I loved my husband. I loved that house. Let me tell you something. God took it away. I taken away my husband's job that he allowed all that to happen for a reason. And with this guy it was even worse, you know. Well, anyway, I'll let him tell you what I'm I'm not real sure if it's in this video or the one I watched before. But anyway, the point is, he goes over that. In every one of his videos, you hear some of the part about how poor he got. And I think now he's doing better. He's actually built. Uh, he got to permission from the Lord to remarry. He married a lady from India. And they not sure if he's back over here if it's over there <laughs> like I said, four or five videos um anyway over last night and today it's not all today so i have been reading the bible i've been asking the lord show me anything you'd like for me to teach you know but i feel like we're so close to the end i wanted something that would bring you something to help you be even more prepared for the end times you know and maybe this will help you so once again it's Michael Criswell and this particular video is called real examples of losing your life to find it in Christ okay so I hope you enjoy it and check him out and um i guess that's it i'll plead the blood of jesus over this video and the internet connection and over each and every one of you as well and with that i'll say i'll talk to you later bye for now